first time I think that um, these data have been presented and collected in this in this manner. It's harvest management, recording harvest, quantifying how much has been taken. You know, this is the central role of Woodward. This is what our job is, primarily. Implementation of treaty rights means enabling Native people, Anishinaabe, Ojibwe Indians, to go out and harvest resources setting up the rules and regulations like the legal, legal panel talked about, all of the permits and tags, et cetera, et cetera, that we need to go through to kind of the, make sure that this is done in an orderly way, but then counting what's harvested and reporting on that. And you know, early on when we started talking about this stuff with tribes, you know, we came in as white biologists, you know, dealing with Indian people, and you know, this idea of counting things, registering, accounting for what the harvest was, was seen as an imposition. Why do we need to do that? You know, we've never done that before. But our point, the biologist's point, and my point, over 25 years talking with tribes about this, is this is power. This is the power that enables tribes to be able to advance their causes. These numbers that we've got, I'm going to show you here. This is where the power comes from. And the ability of people to go out and harvest these resources <coughs> under their own sets of rules and regulations to maintain their own life way, it's a very powerful thing. And we'll hear more about that as the year proceeds and, and during the evening time. So I just wanted to present this to you, and I'll go, go through these fairly quickly, and I have a couple of comments maybe for each slide, just explain what the slide is. So um, this one is the waterfowl harvest slide, okay? And you can see how the progression of waterfowl, ducks, geese, and coop, that's what different colors are, and that's proceeded over time. On next slide. Uh, next one is wild rice, perhaps reflecting some of the variation you see in wild rice abundance in the media. Walleye, oh yes, walleye. One of those minor issues that we deal with. Uh, so uh, you can see uh, walleye harvest here. This is in Michigan. Kind of illustrates one of the other uh, factors that are uh, uh, common elements that we see in these harvest progressions. It starts relatively low and over time increases. Okay, so as people get used to the activity, get used to the rules and regulations, become familiar with places to go, that harvest increases over time. Nice illustration here. No lax walleye harvest. Um, also shows a, an increase, but this was maybe more of an institutional increase. This was, this in this case, the, the exercise of treaty rights was planned to be implemented kind of in phases over time. And so you could see that these phases resulted in kind of a gradual increase in harvest, but in a phase progression. Well, interesting, this is an interesting pattern. I'll be interested in hearing feedback. Inclusion of Minnesota and Michigan deer harvest in those harvests, in this graph. So it's kind of going down over time, since the mid-90s or so. Interesting. Why is that? I don't know. Uh, bear harvest, muffla, yes, it's a, a sensitive species. People are, it's a totem species. And this one is uh, difficult to manage the harvest, though. People are hesitant sometimes to become involved to have the bear harvest, especially those people who are members of the bear clan. And so this one is, uh, this was sensitivity if we can. And uh, again, we can see that same kind of progression of starting low and then gradually increasing. Uh, some fur bears would go next, uh, fishers, otters, and bobcats. This is the fisher harvest over time. Again, general pattern, increasing. Uh, get up. Uh, so now we're into a national forest gathering, and this is gathering of uh, non-timber forest products, a lot of uh, birch bark and firewood, balsam boughs, those kinds of species are being gathered. We issue permits for that. Uh, this is just the number of permits that are issued. We don't do a lot of uh, harvest estimation for this. It just shows you over time we have two things here, uh, the blue bars or birch bark, right off of this axis here, the number of trees, birch bark is measured in trees harvested, and then firewood in the red bars is measured by cores. And again, you can see that general trend of increasing over time, okay? So I just wanted to provide that information to you. This is, that's what the harvest has been, the actual harvest. We're monitoring the impacts of harvest. We want to know what the harvests are. Okay. The species, the list of species that we just went through, and all those graphs. And I think about the status of those species in the ceded territories, in Wisconsin, Minnesota, and Michigan. For every one of them, the species status has improved since 1984. There has been a net improvement in every one of those species' populations. 